guys, it's Shannon Rose, and today I'm going to be doing my spring cleaning video. Now, you're probably thinking, like, ugh, what a boring video, but let me just tell you, I know that I can't be the only one that has a lot of stuff in my house that I don't need. She was so close to killing me. So I decided to make this video because I was going to do my spring cleaning anyways. I thought I'd film it for you guys and show you how I do it my way and then maybe you'll learn some tips and tricks that I have and maybe this will inspire you guys to clean your house or your room if you guys haven't yet for spring. I think donating is a great thing. I donated a lot of stuff and I also sold some stuff. Also I'm going to show you some ways to make money on the stuff that you are going to get rid of and I also found a really cool new app called Virage Sale and I'll share that with you guys in the video as well. So so if you guys want to see how I spring clean and how I organize my closet and my drawers and color coordinate everything, then keep watching. So at the beginning, it can seem kind of overwhelming. You're like, oh my gosh, I have all this stuff. What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? So basically what I did was I literally took every piece of clothing that I owned out of all of my drawers, out of the storage from downstairs in my garage, everything from my closet. All right, you guys. So, so far, here is the pile of clothes. I'm out of breath because been running up and down the stairs going all the way down to the garage this is not even half of it now I did have a little help <laughs> from my friend and my husband so if you guys have an outrageous amount of clothes and you guys need some help feel free to ask for help sometimes we need help with things so don't be scared to ask I put everything in a pile and then I started going through each and every piece of clothing that I owned and I basically just picked it up and held each piece and said do I wear this? Do I love this? Am I actually going to wear this? Can this go to a home? Are there other people in this world that could get use out of this? And if that were the case, then I would donate it. Does this make you happy? No, bring joy. Does this bring joy? Absolutely not. The only thing that will bring me joy with this right now will be this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Everybody loves jumping in the pile of clothes. Once you've figured out your keep, donate, and sell pile, obviously there are a ton of different ways that you can sell your sell pile. Um, one really cool thing, I don't know if you guys like garage sales for me, I used to be obsessed with like garage sales and thrift store shopping. I love to buy at garage sales, but I also like to be able to sell my stuff. If you have a bunch of stuff and you'd like to have like some type of garage sale, maybe you don't live in a place where you have like a yard <laughs> or a garage to sell out of, like maybe you live in an apartment like me. Um, one really cool thing is this app and it's called Garage Sale and it's basically like a virtual garage sale. And what I like about it is it doesn't have like that Craigslist creep be like spam or anything like that it's more personal you connect through Facebook so you see who you're actually buying and selling from people are a lot friendlier um, because you know you're meeting them in person um, and it's all through your local communities just like if you were having a garage sale it's all local like you meet the people and you can get really good deals and I don't know I just thought it was really cool so I wanted to share that with you guys because I've never seen anything like that before obviously there's a lot of other different apps like Poshmark but you can't sell everything on Poshmark they only allow you to sell like certain things there's a lot more rules and restrictions on some of these other apps so this app there's not like crazy rules on like what you can buy and sell and stuff like that so if you're interested in that app I'll leave that link down below okay so back to cleaning now that we were done uh, separating all the different clothes from you know the keep pile the donate pile and the sell pile we're taking all the keep clothes and we're putting them all back on hangers and my amazing friend Jess is helping me out. So basically she's just putting everything on hangers that we're keeping and she's categorizing them into like t-shirts, pajamas, jackets, etc. You get the idea. So that's what we're doing here. So once we were done completely organizing and putting things into categories and piles of all the keep clothes, I took a clothing rack that I had and I started putting things onto the clothing rack in like color coordination. That way it was easier for me to put back into my closet. Okay guys, so this is the dresser that I have in my room that I keep like all my underwear, socks, bathing suits, pajamas, and just whatever other folded clothes I have. But it was starting to get this like funky smell. I don't really know how to describe it. I guess it's just like kind of like an old wood smell and it would get on my clothes. So I tried a bunch of things over the years to try to help get the smell out. But what I have found that actually works really well is I took everything out of the drawers and then I took little cups and bowls and I put white distilled vinegar and then I left them in there with the drawers closed for a little over a week now and I feel like it actually worked 
So some of the bowls you'll see like the vinegar has completely like evaporated out of there. Um, that's a good thing. And the vinegar smell will go away eventually, but I'm thinking that this is probably the one way to like get smells out of certain places. So if you have like a shower or a bathroom that has like a funky like smell, you can always try that little trick. time to take all the cups out there was still some vinegar left over and I didn't really want to waste it so I ended up pouring all the vinegar into one glass and then I got a reusable spray bottle and I put all the vinegar in there because that's a great cheap way to clean around the house okay so now that my drawers are smelling fresh and clean I'm not gonna lie they smell still a little bit like vinegar but that will go away eventually uh, it's better than having like a nasty smell so if you guys know me or have been watching my channel for a while you know that I am obsessed with onesies I don't know what it is they're just so damn comfy and I love them so much and I don't really have a lot of space for them so I decided to take a new approach and see how many onesies I can fit in one drawer and let me tell you you guys are gonna be really amazed at what you're about to see right now because I fit all of my onesies in one drawer and I'm gonna show you how I did it so if you can fold all of your onesies like that or whatever clothes that you end up having, I fit eight onesies into this drawer and I am very proud of myself <laughs> because I didn't want to get rid of my onesies, even though I did get rid of some. But yeah, so I was really proud of myself and it is a great way to store all your stuff in a small, compact place. Now for like the smaller things like socks and underwear, I decided to get rid of a lot of them. Like I only kept my very favorite ones that I knew I actually wore. The stuff that like I wasn't really gonna wear but I kinda wanted to keep, I just got rid of that stuff. So get rid of that. Then you'll be able to open your drawer and have things that you love and you're definitely gonna wear and it's not just like a bunch of stuff taking up space. So I took all my underwear and I folded them. I took my socks, like I normally ball my socks up so that they don't get like you know lost or whatever and like one pair is in one spot but I heard that that's not good for your socks so I just place them flat on top of each other okay so for my underwear and my sock drawer I have little dividers to keep things organized uh, I got my dividers at the container store I believe but you can really buy them anywhere you find them uh, so I like to put in one divider I fold all my underwear nice and neatly and then in the other divider I have all my socks and I like to try to color coordinate some things just because it's prettier to look at. And then I have my sports bras, my bandos, my long socks, and I'll show you how I put everything and organize everything into my sock and underwear drawer. So I know this looks really tedious and like a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time and that's totally true, I'm not going to lie, but I promise you you're going to feel so much better once you do this and you're going to get rid of so many unwanted things and then when you open your drawers, you're going to, it's just going to make you happy, trust me. It will make you really happy, you'll be able to see everything that you have and try color coordinating because that's another thing that makes you really happy. So I'm not going to go through every single drawer because that will make a really long video, but as you can see in this drawer I have all my bathing suits and I've organized them into the different Ziploc baggies so that they're easier just to grab out and be able to see what I have. And then I also have all my beanies and I've laid those out so that I can see each beanie that I have and I color coordinated it. I also have like a scarf and more one piece bathing suits in this drawer and then I also have another drawer just with all my shorts and I categorize that by like jean shorts, workout shorts, shorts that I would wear around the house, you know, stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys my closet. This is with all the clothes out of my closet. Um, I did keep all my shoes in there, the shoes I'm keeping, um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like before and then as I'm putting things back and then what it looks like after.
you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave in a comment down below what was something that you learned that you didn't know before this video. And also, if you can, please leave a tip or trick on spring cleaning or anything related to this video. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!